Hello guys. In this video, we will be learning how to create email OTP verification form using Ajax and Django. You can find this tutorial on our website studygyan.com. So, what is Ajax? Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So, for this tutorial, we will be creating a Django project. So I have already created a project named basic and a Django app named basic app. So after making the Django project, we will be writing few lines of code. So as I have created this project, I will be first writing some code in my settings.py. So this code is for SMTP. SMTP is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So this code will provide the Django to know that it has to send mail using this Gmail ID. I have you have to write your own Gmail ID here and your password here. So once we are done with this, we will move to views.py. So in views.py, we will create a function named home. This home will render our home.html file. So, after making this home function, we will be making two more functions. First, generate OTP and second, send OTP. So, in send OTP function, we will be using SMTP that we have defined in our settings.py. So first we will import send mail from django.co.mail. So we will request the email field from the front end. And after getting the email field, we will generate an OTP. So moving to generate OTP, I have basically used a random and a math library that is available in Python. So this function will be generating a four digit OTP. So after I'm getting my OTP in a variable named O. So now I will be creating the HTML field. So I have write your OTP is O. This will reflect in the mail. After this, I'll use the send mail to send the mail to the registered email address. Moving forward, now we will define the URL for our functions. So we have created a blank URL for home. That is, when we just open localhost, it will be landed on our home.html and a path for send OTP which we'll call our send OTP function in views.py. So friends, we are done with the functioning part. Now we will move to our front end that is home.html. In home.html, I have created basic HTML code such as email input field and simple buttons and I have given some ID and name to particular input field. For example, I have given the input uh, field for OTP as OTP and ID is also OTP. So after creating some HTML, we will be moving to our Ajax part. So Ajax allow us to send post and get request without refreshing the site. So for Ajax, we have to include a script, which is ajax.googleapis.com. You can find the source code on studygyan.com as well as my GitHub. The links will be provided in the description. So moving forward to the Ajax part, we have created an OTP form back variable as a global variable. We have created a function named Ajax send OTP in our Ajax. So,
So we are requesting an email div ID. So where is my email div ID? See, I have named the div containing the email field as email div. So I am making its display as none. You will get to know it further. So I have requested the email entered by the user in the user uh, in the email field. So this is the Ajax post call. I am calling send OTP, which I have defined in urls.py, and it will call my function send OTP in views.py. So I am sending the email value and CSRF token as it is a post request. So I'll be getting an HTTP response as oh I have made a variable o so i will be getting it in the front end so after receiving the data that is o on the front end i'll just store the, the value of o in otp from back variable and also i'll make the display of otp div as block in the beginning the display of otp div is none. So moving forward to the verify OTP part. So I'll request the OTP entered by the user. I will equate the OTP with OTP from back. And if the OTP matches, I will output a green label which says OTP verified and unlock my further form, which is set as none previously. Otherwise, if the OTP does not match, I'll display a red label as try again. So for testing purpose, we will just do one thing. I'll just uh, comment out this line and we'll print our OTP in the console itself. Make sure to uncomment the, uh, the above line and remove this line when your website is in deployment. So yes, now we'll just run the command to run our server. Python manage.py run server. So yeah, we will open our local host. And yes, this is our output. So for testing, I use any email address like anonymous at the rate gmail.com so i just print our otp in our console so otp is 7456 so i'll just show you first by entering a wrong otp i'm entering 7455 our otp was 7456 so yes this is a red labeled try again so i'm entering the proper otp 5756 and verify yes otp verified and we, our further form is now open. So that's all for our tutorial. You can find the source code on the GitHub as well. The link for GitHub and our website will be provided in the description. You have to just clone the GitHub repository and you have to run this command pip install minus r requirements.txt and then you have to run your server. If you like our videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.